Hello folks and welcome back. We're hauling some gear today. Hauling some gear and everything is just a complete sheet of ice here today. So here's what we got. We've got the 2021 F450. We've got the new 265s on the truck. So these tires are about two inches taller and an inch and a half or so wider. Inch, inch and a half wider. Two, two and a half inches taller, sorry. You can see the tread pattern, much more aggressive, way bigger than the stock tires, way bigger. So I've hauled my flat deck trailer with the skid steer so far with this setup, but I have not hauled the gooseneck yet. I haven't hauled the gooseneck even empty yet. So that's what we're doing today, if we can get out of my driveway, because it's just a sheet of ice. John got lots of sand and stuff down. He, he left, he's ahead of me. He's going to get the machine ready, go and get the 8 ton. I'm going to pick up the 080. We're done some trail work down uh, down Hubbard's way. We're going to haul it to the, to the cottage and start doing some work down there. So here's the issue we have. This trailer has not moved for probably a month and a half. And the jacks are frozen right into the ground. I'm not sure how bad this is going to be to trying to get those to pop up once the weight's down on the on the ball we got the battery charged up a bit into it because that you know the issues i've had with that not the trailer's fault the truck's fault we got the chains ready to rock and roll there's still some ice on here but it's it's starting to ease up we'll be able to smash some off once we get there but uh, anyway i'm going to back up to this thing and see how bad this is to get out of here. Well, with some help from the uh, 95, we got it out. <laughs> I had to put the the bucket right here. You see a little little neck. Give her give her a push. And then then it came out. You can see the tire ruts and in fact the truck sitting on ice. There's the tire ruts, but the 95 got it out. All right, ready to roll. Got all the nice, all the ice knocked off the deck. Don't need that flying off coming down the road, hitting a car behind me or something. So now get out of this driveway. Another hill here at the end of my driveway. It's definitely not a good setup for winter time. I'll have to fix that here soon. Get an actual lay down yard in the shop but anyway let's uh let's get on the road uh probably hour i'd say 50 minute to an hour drive down to where the, the machine is sitting right now give her a little bit of juice here can't really see anything coming around the turns here now because of the snow banks Okay, we are on asphalt. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Well, we are rolling. I've got the 080 behind me. And we're just getting ready to merge on the highway here. So I, I definitely was not going to get any footage of loading this thing up. That was a one lane road. And I was taking the whole thing. And there's people who live on the houses and stuff back there. So I just, me and John got it on there as fast as I possibly could. And now here we are merging on the highway. Not like maybe half throttle right now. Going up a slight grade. Alright, we got some vehicles coming. Put the brakes on here. So let's get this thing up to speed and see how it makes out here with these, with these 265s on. It is a very foggy, crappy day. So my speedometer is off by about six kilometers an hour right now. I haven't had a chance to calibrate it yet. So I'm gonna set my cruise at 98. So that'll put me at about 104. 104 kilometers an hour, a little over 60, probably like 62 miles per hour, something like that. 62, 63. 
and we're up in 10th gear just like that cruising down the highway you can see where the rpms are I'm right at about 1800 rpm hauling 30,000 pounds with 265s all right well, this is all flat ground here you got a couple uh really good grades on the way back you guys have seen me climb these grades before so i'll wait till i get to to that big one and uh we'll see how this thing does okay so here we go and i'm gonna drop it down to ninth gear right now and we're still only at 1900 rpm so typically this hill here i can climb in an eighth sometimes it takes seventh here we go just drop to eighth I'm not sure if it took seventh to climb this hill or not. I think maybe once it did. Okay, we just shifted down to seventh. We're holding at about 87 kilometers an hour, which would actually be, uh, you know, uh, 93. So the truck, you know, might have lost a little bit of power, but not much. We're now accelerating seventh gear. 2500 rpm I'll put it back up to 10th gear we're still in 7th right now it's going to shift up here to 8th very soon well I guess it's going to hold 7th which is fine 7th is 1 to 1 Doesn't know what to do because now we're going downhill. <laughs> we're up in eighth now, and now we're going downhill. Uh, yeah, you know what? It 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 did lose a little bit of uh, a little bit of speed coming up that hill compared to the stock size tires, which is expected. But that that's a tough hill right there. That's that's steep. So I'm fine with with what this thing is doing with the added performance of these tires the added clearance of these tires and i mean yeah it looks it looks a heck of a lot better i'm uh, perfectly perfectly fine with how that truck just performed right there all right so i've been driving along for a while here and uh i've passed three vehicles for sure maybe four uh you know that's because they were going too slow they were doing like 92 93 kilometers an hour past them no problems past one person on a grade no problems you know here I am just cruising on some flat ground and you know just barely hanging on the steering wheel just chilling out having a good time it's uh, the truck always felt great but I think that it might even feel a little more stable now on the road with these you know bigger wider much higher higher quality tire than what was on this originally the ride quality seems a bit better you know you got more rubber there so it doesn't seem you don't seem to notice as as many bumps but man i'm just chilling out here this is uh this is great this is really great um i just did reset my fuel mileage but i've been climbing little small grades ever since and i don't know i don't have uh i don't have a def uh, a dpf filter gauge or i don't have the ocr turned on so I'm not able to tell if, if I'm doing a regen or not, but right now I'm, I'm at 45 liters per hundred, and I know that it would get better. I've literally driven six kilometers, and it's all been slightly, slightly uphill. Uh, I know that I'm gonna, I know that I'm gonna notice a a negative result with the fuel mileage. That's there's no doubt about that. That's gonna happen. The tires are bigger. Uh, it's just what it's gonna be. But this truck was really good on fuel um, with the stock tires on so with a you know with a bit of a negative result on that with these tires is, is well worth it for every reason for uh, you know performance with in the snow on dirt and mud uh, more ground clearance cosmetically it looks way better but we got a dually coming here 350 but anyway, um, we got one more good grade to climb, and then uh, I'm gonna drop this. Meet John at my place. He's gonna jump in with me. So we gotta get the machine unloaded off this trailer as fast as absolutely possible, because the cottage road is on a bit of a turn. So I want to get the machine 
off this thing and get the trailer out of that situation really quickly. It's not a busy road, so that's good. If it was a busy road, I wouldn't even think about it. Um, but I'm gonna find like a decent spot to, uh, to pull over and get this thing unloaded. And then it's fun time back to the back to the cottage. Then it's time to get some serious work done. I'll have the I'll have this machine back there. The mulcher's on it right now, so I'm gonna do a little bit of mulching along the sides of the road. Well, not a little bit, quite a bit of mulching along the sides of the road. And then uh, once that's done, take that off, put the bucket on. We got lots of roots to rip out. We got culverts to put in. We got road work to do. Um, lots of stuff to do. I'll be happy to get this machine back there. The four ton might join it just because it doesn't tear up stuff as much going out to the point and getting some of those trees that I that I junked up and uh, so the four ton might join might join this machine back there it's hard to say and the 95 might be back there I mean who knows the four ton could be on its way out I actually listed it for sale um, I really don't I don't know it, it, it has it has really good things about it and uh, I will miss having it around, but I want to. I want to be more versatile. I have three excavators and nothing else. I would really like to add a skid steer to the to the family. And if one's gonna go, it's definitely gonna be the four ton. I really don't like the, doing those small little jobs anyway. With the four ton, I'd rather do bigger jobs. But anyway, we'll see. All right. Well, we're heading down the hill. We're in eighth gear right now, and that's where I'm gonna limit my gears. So I just dropped my gear limit. To eight so let's see here on this hill if eighth gear can can do this it just dropped down to seventh to slow me down and now we're in the hill it just went up to eighth so let's see what happens here hill starting to take a bit of a bite kilometers an hour still in eighth gear and that is gonna do it eighth gear is going to do it all right that's gonna be it for the hill climbs now the fun times come getting this thing unloaded alongside the road well 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 that went pretty good you got turned around and got the machine dropped off I just pulled off alongside the road right here. John, he's gone in the woods now. So there's the road to the cottage. Right here on the right. John is gone. Trucking her in. Okay, well, now I'll head to my place, get this backed into the driveway, hopefully, and put back in place and, uh, Then head back and pick John up. Well, all right. There it is. Truck and trailer disconnected. Excavator on its way back to the cottage. This truck did awesome. Those tires, man, oh man, oh man. So I think as far as your best overall performance and look, tire size for this truck would be a 245. It does lose a little bit of power. I mean, it still hauls probably better than, well, I know it hauls better than uh, Cummins or Duramax <laughs> going up those hills with that much weight on it, even with those 265s back there. But I think your best all around size would be a 245. You won't get quite the look out of it. You won't get quite the ground clearance, you know, the off road sort of performance. But um, I think it's your best all around size. I, it's hard to say when these tires wear out. If I'll stick with these or I'll, or I'll go with the 245s, it's hard to say at this point. It's so early, but um, right now, I'm sticking with these. But again, the trailer did great, the Diamond C. I still only have three brakes working right now. I gotta get that taken care of. And we have the replacement part for the back of the 95. That old Johnny boy put his, uh, his trademark on. So I've gotta get that put on put on this get the exhaust tip off and uh put on to that i think i'm gonna paint the exhaust tip black because that chrome just like where else is there chrome or polish on this excavator anywhere nowhere 
So yeah, that needs to be fixed because that just looks like absolute crap. And then I got to get the back of this thing touched up because it's starting to show a little bit of rust. Um, but yeah, that's going to do it for this video. First time hauling, uh, hauling really heavy with the, the 450 and the 265s. As always, truck did awesome. So if you're in the market um, for new tires, these things are awesome. Oh, I didn't show you what the tires were in this video. They are the uh, Michelin uh, XDE2 Plus is what they are. And I am in love with these tires. I'm in love with these tires. But anyway, guys, that is going to do it. I got to go back and pick John up and uh, wait for this ice storm and rainstorm to come tomorrow. A weekend in Nova Scotia. Every weekend we have a storm. All right, guys. Take care. See you. Bye.